the World Bank Indicator Database. If you're hearing this for the first time, then it's good you've joined me today. I'm your host, Coach Alexander. Welcome to Monitoring and Evaluation Made Simple. So today I want us to talk about the World Bank Indicator Database. So as you can see, I'm on Google here, and it's pretty hard, it's pretty easy to find. Um, let me just type indicator database there. It's pretty easy to find, okay? So the World Bank has a database and interestingly guys, it has a lot of indicators on its website. And as you can see, I've talked about this quite a number of times on my channel. I really like the World Bank because they collect so many indicators. So they could be collecting indicators related to agriculture, rural development, aid effectiveness, they are also collecting economy and growth, education, energy and mining, environment, external debt, and so on and so forth. So this is a long video, but I thought maybe we can just briefly touch on why it's important to know about this site. So in a nutshell, when you're developing your projects, you may have difficulty identifying what indicators you are going to use in measuring project performance. So you don't need to look any further because the World Bank has all the wonderful indicators on almost every category, okay? And I know this time around, a lot of gender advo advocates want to know how things are doing in terms of gender. They are measuring in, in things to do with gender, okay? All these indicators are there, all right? And uh, things to do with health, it's over there. So now, that is just one reason why you need to know about this, this site. But the other reason is that we also need to align our projects to the global, you know, the global, the global scenario. So the World Bank is obviously collecting all these indicators and we need to align ourselves to these kind of indicators because ultimately we want to know how the world is performing as a whole, okay? All right, so now maybe let's just do a bit of moving up and down in this website, okay? So this is just the, a summary, but if you click, let's say this is agriculture and rural development. So these are all the indicators there. So let's just do a snapshot on maybe what we can find, what are they exactly measuring? So for instance, employment in agriculture, male, percentage of male employment. Let's see what this has to say. Okay, so when you click there, it gives you the world trends, okay? So starting from 95, 1995, the percentage of males in agriculture, how do we interpret employment in agriculture male percentage? Okay, so it seems to be falling. Okay, that's what they are saying. Okay, and then they also, the, the interesting part about this is that they also categorize this by country. Okay. Okay, it starts all from Afghanistan. They tell you the most recent percentage, which is 37%. And they go all the way down, okay, which is the country all the way down. Let's see which country is that, Zimbabwe. Okay, so they tell you, oh no, it's not actually Zim. Ooh, is that a country? Okay, they just give you an average percentage of how the world is, but the last country is obviously Zimbabwe which is standing at 63%, okay? Yeah, okay, so th that's the highlight. So that's how you use this website. And then there's provision also to download. If you want to download spreadsheets of the data, you can download here, either in Excel or these other formats. And they also have a data bank. Okay, let's try clicking there and see what they have. When you click on the data bank, Hope my internet is good. Sometimes, um, I don't know, it can be quite 
disappointing sometimes, okay? So there's the world, the data bank, okay? So they have a database, all right, of everything, all the countries they have. And then after you've satisfied yourself, you can actually download these spreadsheets. You can download here. They give you still the options of downloading it in Excel and so on and so forth, okay? So let's go back, okay? What else? What else can we find from this website in terms of data? Uh, not like they didn't want that. Okay, let's try to go to where else? Okay, they also have micro data. Okay, let's see what they can, what's, what's there with the micro data, micro data library. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so you can see that. All right, so in a nutshell, I think this is quite a, a useful tool, especially for, for anybody who's doing research, but more especially if you are implementing projects, you may want to satisfy yourself with the statistics that are already there, that are already collected by the World Bank, okay? And there are quite a number of topics which you can, you can satisfy yourself with, all right? And uh, they quite have a number of things, you know? Uh, uh, let's, let's look at this, poverty and inequality. Let's look at that. All right. I'm trying to get myself back to that page where I started from. Okay, so give me a few seconds. We, we find ourselves back on that page. Just a few seconds, okay? All right, welcome back. I found the page. Yeah, so this is really a good website for everyone. Okay, the data is free of charge. You don't have to spend. And you can imagine, you know, they are spending quite a lot of resources just to collect this data because look at it this way. This is data for the whole world. Like if you look at GDP growth, okay, this is at a global level. How has the gross domestic product been doing? When we say gross domestic product, we are simply talking about the nationals, uh, the nation's uh, economic uh, viability. That's what it means, really, economic performance. So we can see that at a global level, it has really been fluctuating here and there from year to year. And in 2015, it was at, uh, I think that looks like a 2.4%, okay? I don't know how they interpret how to interpret this, but that is what. But you can see that they have so much data for every country. Okay, so you can take advantage of this uh, World Bank database. All right, I've I've used it before, especially when you are just doing your own internal research. So just in case you have any questions on the same, feel free to write to me. This has been a short video. I would have wanted to analyze each and every indicator, but I, I thought, no, maybe that should be left to the viewers, to the users. So until we meet again, I've been your host, Coach Alexander, and see you on the other side. Bye.